There are many tools that help you run the CIS distribution independent Linux benchmarks. Uh, one of the favorite ones, one of my favorite ones, is basically an inspect set of scripts. Uh, if you're familiar with Chef, um, Chef has a utility or a module called inspect. And in this case, uh, you can run something like this. Uh, basically, you can go to the GitHub for DevSec. Uh, and by the way, uh, this organization, if you actually go to the main organization here, has a whole bunch of different collections of scripts and tools and, and different benchmarks, as you can see here, for many different types of operating systems for applications and so on. But the one specifically that I want to draw your attention to is this one right here. So the CIS DIL, DIL stands for Distribution Independent Linux Benchmark. And as you can see, there's not much documentation in here, but it's fairly easy to run. Let me first show you how to install Chef Inspect, and it's very easy. You can uh, basically do this curl command. So we're gonna download it from omnitruck.chef.io slash install, and then we're going to pipe that into sudo bash dash s dash 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 p for the package inspect. Then we hit enter. And as you can see, the script is actually running and it's unpacking the packages. And just within a couple of seconds, of course, now you have inspect within the system. Now that we have chef installed, we can clone the GitHub repository from DevSec, uh, the one that we just went over a few minutes ago. So in order to do that, we can do the git command, clone, https, github.com, slash dev, dash sec, and then cis, then distribution independent Linux, benchmark. And as you see, you know, we actually have clone that repository and the directory is right there. And basically we can just do a sudo inspect exec and then cis benchmark or cis dash dil dash benchmark. Hit enter. So you can see it took a few seconds to complete. And in the summary here, we had 82 successful controls that we checked. Uh, we had 108 or 103 control failures. Uh, 48 controls were skipped, probably because it didn't apply to this uh, scenario. And then a uh, test summary, we had 971 successful and 377 failures, 51 skip. Now, it is a pretty lengthy output in here. And as you see, a whole bunch of check marks, that means that it passed. And if you want to go over... The ones that didn't pass, they even give you examples of what to change within the system. Now, a little bit better. Now it's a little bit better for you to run this and then pipe it to some file. As a matter of fact, let's actually put here some output file. And that will take a few seconds to run. And then once it finishes. We can just review that file and you know manipulate the files and look for the things that didn't pass and then address those. So I finish and then we can open the file. Yeah, basically using cat or your favorite editor. Uh, let's um, open it real quick. It's some output file. And as you can see, now we can manipulate it a little bit better. Uh, probably grep for checking out all the the things that didn't pass, uh, we can probably just omit the ones that, of course, have a check mark. And again, this is pretty extensive. There's a lot of different checks that uh, it took place in here. And they are indeed aligned with every single of the recommendation from CIS and the distribution Linux independent benchmark.